So welcome to this tutorial showing how the virtual telescope works. Here it is the very same screen you see once you are logged in and actually I'm controlling the telescope from a remote place. So you can see there is a, a planetarium section showing which star is above the horizon at this moment and there is also on the left a region of the screen where you have several tabs like focuser, telescope, camera, find and so on. The telescope position where the telescope is pointing is given uh, as a yellow, yellow dot and uh, this is uh, important of course so that you are never lost. The telescope is where the yellow circle is but very likely you want to ask the telescope to go somewhere and to do this you have to find an object and quite obviously you have to click on the find tab. At that point once clicked there you can just write the name of the object you want for example let's ask Jupiter just right there and click then on the boot on the find button and uh, in a handful of seconds you see that uh, in the upper place a series of red circles is saying where the destination is but the telescope is still on the yellow but to slew the telescope to the destination you have to uh, focus on uh, the green circles now I just uh, underline it posing the cursor there with the slew as you can see their caption I click on it and the telescope will ask me for confirmation about my a wish to go there and this is exactly what I do and I click yes and at this point the telescope is just moving and uh, reaching the destination of course we are online so it takes uh, some time to the system to refresh and uh, uh, but the telescope of course is uh, remotely going uh, smoothly very smoothly the uh, at the end of course uh, the yellow will be on the red but if you go on the telescope tab you see very clearly that the status of the telescope is lewing to target and that is the very uh, final place where you will see when the slewing will be finished. Now you see the tracking a sidereal rate just means the telescope arrived and we are on Jupiter and we want a picture of Jupiter so you have to switch to the camera. I click on the camera tab just below the telescope on the very left and at that point the main, uh, I would say, everything about the camera is showing and you have several uh, other uh, little tabs here take photo, the first one then you have uh, auto guide but this is not of interest for you there is focus tools and basically this is of no interest for you as well and then take series and this one is useful because you, it, you can plan here a number of images back to back with just a, a single button okay but okay the focus can be useful actually sometimes for example for a very quick look I want to see what we have there so I just uh, take uh, an image with an exposure time 0.1 seconds because Jupiter is bright and I take photo now you can see that the system is uh, just doing the job and we have the bright Jupiter here also with some uh, satellites around so this is a very short exposure but uh, enough to show what we are doing we can also adjust the histogram and you can see very beautifully that Jupiter has its own cloud so this is a real Jupiter and uh, we are happy that uh, you can see this okay so basically uh, once you are finished you can plan for example a number of images of Jupiter back to back uh, planning and programming the take series tab with exposure time which is 0.1 the binning that is the revolution for planets one by one is uh, the most important this is a light frame the blue filter can be useful to enhance contrast here but don't uh, uh, give this too much importance I just want to show what you can do here select the exposure time the resolution by binning light frame is the, it, it is what you will do then choosing a filter and the number of images you want likely not 100, 1000 but maybe 10 just to say and then once you have done here and also with the reduction if you want to do uh, on fly image calibration with dark subtract and flat fielding you can just uh, do this uh, but uh, generally this is already scheduled by, by, by the 
of course the administrator at this point you just click on take series and the system will take i will know up to the end of this because i just wanted to show and uh, if you want to interrupt this just click abort and the system will do this for you aborting the series once you are done find again another object you may want for example uh, mars or just to stay around because uh, no, likely you are just um, surfing the skies in the same place you can ask for example uh, msc82 find button you see the red here and then through the green circles you go always check this to be sure that slewing is just the thing you want if you, you want just click on yes and the system will slew there as we did, it will take a few seconds. You can go to the telescope tab and see that we are still slewing, but soon we will be tracking at the sidereal rate. Here we are. So it just means that we are sitting on the destination. Camera can be now used here to get what you wanted. For example, but this one is now a very, very uh, faint object. I will just remove uh, filter placing empty no filter just uh, will give here just an handful of seconds doing binning two by two redoing reducing resolution and also the time required to the system to download an image but just wanted to show you basically how to slew and how to control the camera the details the exposure time the filters can be arranged uh, between uh, you and uh, the administrator that is myself basically and here you can see the galaxy of course with this very quick um, tutorial you are now able to use yourself the virtual telescope enjoy